Calligraphy is one of the soft forms in Chinese culture. It is usually written on paper by using ink brushes and conveys the feeling of beauty and personality. For long-term preservation, many calligraphy works have been made in the form of relief. The key problem of calligraphy relief modeling is how to inflate the font regions in 3D manner. One simple way is to extrude the fonts to a predefined height, but the result is limited to be flat. To produce stronger sense of 3Dness, some software packages such as Artform and JD Paint have provided specific tools to generate calligraphy relief. However, heavy manual operations are required when using these tools. Before our work, Several image-based methods have been proposed to produce calligraphy leaves. However, these methods are either time-consuming or computational expensive. To get a satisfactory result, many parameters need to be carefully adjusted. Our goal is to present a fast and parameter-free solution, particularly for high-resolution images. To this end, we present a CN-based framework, which benefits from the advances of deep learning. To our knowledge, this work is the first applied deep learning technique for calligraphy relief modeling. Given a handwriting image with RGB channels as input, we first convert it into a single channel bitmap with white bonds in the black background. Then we design a neural network to predict two types of height views from the same bitmap. Finally, we combine the height views together and output it in mesh format. Our network for height view recovery is inspired by UNET, which uses an encode and a decode architecture. The final layer in our network is a 1 times 1 convolution, which outputs the height value for each pixel. Unfortunately, there are no ground truths that for network chaining. Therefore, we need to construct a relief data set containing enough calligraphy font images and the corresponding font reliefs. To achieve this, we built a benchmark containing 1,150 grayscale images, in which the calligraphy fonts are written in multiple styles. All images have the same resolution of 512 times 512. We observed that there are two common types of calligraphic reliefs. One is in homogeneous height style, where the stroke borders have been smoothed, but the overall height of each stroke is nearly identical. The other is in inhomogeneous height style, in which the stroke height varies with the changing of stroke wise. Based on this observation, we present a synthetic solution to generate calligraphy reliefs and take them as ground truth that. Now we introduce how to construct the two types of height views for that set generation. Inhomogeneous style of relief is constructed through Laplacian based surface inflation. For each input image, we first convert it into the form of triangular mesh. Taking the background of vertices as zero deep constraints, we inflate the font regions by solving equation 1, then we resize the height view within a predefined deep red. As shown in figure 6, the background of vertices remain fixed, while the vertices inside the fonts have been inhomogeneously lifted. The further away the vertex is to the background boundary, the larger the height value will be accumulated. 
homogeneous style of a relief is constructed by estimating a new normal field. First, Laplacian-based normal filtering is applied on the inhomogeneous high field to reduce normal noises. Let an I be a normal vector at stroke border. We change NZ to zero and make it perpendicular to the height direction. Taking an I as inputs, the X and the Y normal components of the mesh vertices are estimated by solving equation 2. Figure 7a show the resulting normal map, and then we set height value to be equal to nz with a scale ratio of 0.05. Compared to the inhomogeneous style, the homogeneous surface looks relatively flat, but with a round corner at stroke border. We change our network for inhomogeneous and homogeneous predictions, respectively. The network parameters are learned by minimizing the sum of pixel-wise loss function. We use Keras to implement our network. We just train using the Atom server. It takes about three hours to train the networks with batch size 4. We know we now evaluate the performance of our network in high predictions. Instead of accounting the mean squared errors, we use PS and R to measure the similarities between the predictions and the ground truth. For the testing images, the average PS and Rs are 34.35 and 34.84, respectively. Fig 9 shows several height maps together with their ground truth and error maps. The third and seventh columns are error maps in which red color represents maximum error and blue color represents minimum error. It can be seen bigger errors usually happen on strokes with higher Ys for the inhomogeneous type and on stroke borders for the homogeneous type. Despite of local errors, the visual appearances of the predictions are nearly identical to the ground truth. Figure 10 shows the artwork written by Ouyang Zhongshi. For this example, we generate the reliefs with different input resolutions. As resolution increases, more high details can be encoded in the final release, figure 11 shows the result of the famous artwork, Lan Jingxu, written by Wang Xizhi with a high resolution of 3040 times 1840. In our modeling framework, the final calligraphy relief is achieved by combining the two types height views together. Figure 12 shows several results with different blending ratios. For the blurry style of artworks, as long as the input resolution is big enough, the stroke details can be well generated as shown in figure 13. As the prediction is a 2.5D height map, it can be easily converted into the form of mesh and fabricated by NC machining or 3D printing. We now compare our method with the work of Zhang Itao, who generated calligraphy reliefs using Gaussian blurring, as shown in the top row. Zhang Yichao construct an initial height field by defining the height of each pixel as its distance from the stroke border. Then Gaussian blurring with alterations is applied on the height field. One great disadvantage of this method is that the distance computation is very time consuming.
To reduce the time, we have tried to directly extrude the fault regions and only applied Gaussian blurring, as shown in the middle of the row of figure 15. The high field varies from homogeneous high type to inhomogeneous type high, high type. However, parameter setting for different input solutions would be very heuristic. In contrast, our method is parameter free, and the modeling requires only 0.337 seconds. We then compare our method with the work of Zhang Chao, who also generates Chinese calligraphy reliefs in homogeneous and inhomogeneous hot types. As shown in the left and the middle, our inhomogeneous result looks very similar to the one of Zhang Chao because the relief depth set construction for chaining also depends on solving Laplacian based equation. However, our method runs much faster. For the same input scene, the prediction is 10 times faster than the method of Zhang Chao. We have test images with ultra high resolutions, but their method failed to implement due to computational complexity. Moreover, it failed to handle small size strokes at fuzzy edges. We also compare our result with the one created by using the software of Artform for input image with a resolution of 2432 times 896. It took about 10 minutes to generate the relief, in which most time was spent on stroke region extraction, particularly on selecting the border pixels, as shown in figure 17b. In contrast, our method is skill-free and fully automated. The prediction was completed in less than two seconds, showing significant speed advantage. The time cost for different input images are summarized in Table 2. As our trained network actually learns how to lift vertices with respect to the distance from the background, it can be used not only for calligraphy relief modeling, but also can be applied to inflate 2D pattern regions or construct reliefs with curved background. The contributions of our paper are for the first time a newer solution is proposed for Chinese calligraphy relief modeling. Once the network is trained, it is fast in modeling different resolutions of handwriting images. A relief depth set consisting of diverse types of calligraphy fonts is constructed. This depth set will be released to, be, to benefit the research community on related applications. Thank you.